Hi, my name is Megan. I am a licensed New York City tour guide, and today I am visiting Paris. And I thought that it would be fun to compare and contrast the New York City subway with the Paris metros. But first, make sure that you click subscribe so you never miss a travel tip or trick. Bringing healing to those who need a most. The first difference between the New York City subway system and the Paris Metro I learned before I ever even arrived. So I'm here visiting my best friend Kara. You might hear her name in some of the videos. And she asked me if she wanted, if I wanted her to buy me a Navigo pass. Now, normally in New York City, I can get a week long pass any day of the week. So I can get one on Monday. Thursday, Saturday, whatever day I arrive, I can buy a week-long subway pass. But in Paris, you can only get the week and the month-long passes on a Monday. And I was arriving on a Tuesday. So Kara said, would you like me to get you one of these passes in advance? So I'm very lucky because I had someone who was here who could buy me a Navigo pass. Bonjour, now the Bonjour. Everyone's very friendly here in Paris. Now, the actual card costs five euro, and I'm gonna ask Kara to remind me how much how much the week pass was. I think it was 22 euro. She is nodding a confirmation that it is 22 euro for the week long pass here in Paris. So I'm very lucky because I have this. Otherwise, you have to buy the tickets in groups of 10 or 20, and then you're just doing single rides. So the other kind of exciting thing is I have to get a photo for this. In New York, I don't need a photo for my subway card, but here I'm gonna need to find a way to get a photo so that I can identify myself if someone comes to check my pass on the Paris Metro. So now that we have our pass, let's go see what it looks like inside. In New York, we swipe our passes. Here we tap them. So I'm going to tap to get in. I made it through. The place where I think that the New York subway system like really has like it much better than the Paris Metro is when it comes to navigating it. First of all, in New York City, we pretty much have a lot of streets that are numbered, especially in places where a lot of tourists go. So you know that as the street numbers go up, you're going north or uptown, and as the street numbers uh, go down, you're going south or downtown. Now this is a map of Paris and its subway system. It's all crazy. It looks like someone just flung spaghetti at the wall. So if I want to go to like, um, Port de Clichy, I don't know where that is in relationship to where I am. And I really have to like make sure that when I'm looking at this map, when I'm looking at this map, I would know, let me see, I think, I don't even, there's Port de Clichy. I have to look at the end of the, of the map. So I need to know that I'm going to like Les Agnettes pardon if I'm pronouncing anything wrong. Or if I'm going to like um, Plaisance, I need to make sure what the end of that is, a Chatillon, and where I am in like relation to that. Then what the Paris Metro has is they have these maps, which I don't ever really see in New York. It's never like we're going to list all of the stops that this train's going to make until you're on the train. But you would want to make sure that you are going towards the right end point, and then you can check on here to see if your stop is going in this direction. If it's not, da, 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 da. you would check, oh, I guess this one's going in the same exact, no, this one's going to La Défense. So you would see which one of these directions has your stop and that's the train that you want to get on. I find this to be so confusing and I spend so much time trying to figure out where I want to go on the subway. But just be wary of that. That to me is a huge difference between the New York subway and the Paris Metro. Which do you prefer? Again, let me know in the comments. 
So this is another cool thing in Paris. They have driverless cars. There's no conductor at all. Now this, I know that's gonna be really noisy while the train passes. So I'll wait. Okay, the driverless cars becomes very important because there have been lots of strikes in Paris on the subway where subway workers, <laughs> um, they, they don't like the conditions, so they strike and it makes commuting very, very difficult. Because we have conductorless cars here in Paris now, I believe it's on some of the lines, I'll confirm with Kara, on some of the lines, even when there is something like a strike, they can still get from place to place. It's a cool feature. I don't know if I love it or if I like knowing that there's a live conductor on the trains. Let me know what you think in the comments below. In terms of train frequency, there's a train right now. You can hear it. So loud. Train just left. The next train is in three minutes. And the train after that is three minutes later. Beat that, New York. Beat that. I want a train in New York City every three minutes. I challenge you. The artwork in New York City train stations is truly spectacular. There's even a Liechtenstein at the 42nd Street subway station. But can anything be a work from ancient Egypt that's over 2,000 years old in your subway system? Again, New York City, I challenge you. Similar to the New York City subway, you do not need to swipe your card to get out of your average Paris metro station subway stop, which makes me very happy. As I sit in a beautiful park drinking a Saint-Germain spritz, I thought it would be a good time to talk about what time the subway closes. Now, in New York City, the subway runs 24-7. Yes, sometimes there's repairs and the A will run on the D track, but you can always find a train at any hour of the day. You'll be able to find a train at any hour of the day. The Paris Metro is a little different. Now the hours I think are like a little loose, but on like a, a normal weekday, um, I believe that the hours are 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. that it's closed. So from 1 a.m. to roughly 5 a.m. the train or the Metro is closed so that they can do cleaning and repairs which makes the cars a lot cleaner than the cars in New York City. And then on the weekends, I believe that the cleaning is at 2 a.m. until 5 a.m. I'm sure that a Parisian can let you know in the comments if I, am, if I am slightly off by that. Now, for me, I think it's kind of like six of one, half a dozen of the other. Is it better to have a train available like any hour of the day or is it better to have like a, a cleaner system where you can do repairs more efficiently i don't know i personally enjoy that if i decide to stay out and drink aperol spritzes until 3 a.m that i can get home but i see the argument the other way as well so that's another difference between the new york subway and the paris metro cheers a really cool feature of the Paris metro system that my friend Kara told me about is that in Paris, if you live more than two stops away from your work, your employer is legally obligated to pay for 75% of your Navigo. So that would be a huge help in New York City because I definitely live more than two stops away from almost all of my tour guide jobs. And somebody helping me with 75% of that cost would be amazing. So that's a place where Paris is definitely winning at the subway game. Another difference between the Paris Metro and the New York City subway is the size of the cars. In general, the Paris Metro, the cars are much, much smaller than the New York City subway. Also, a lot of the seats on the Paris Metro, they fold up and down. And when it gets really, really crowded, you're supposed to stand up and that allows for extra room. Of course, Kara and I were on the train last night and it was really, really crowded and nobody stood up. Hmm. 
but that is like an interesting feature that would allow for more people when it gets crowded more comfortably in theory. So just another difference. Would you rather have a large car with lots of space, but like seats that don't move so you can't allow for like the change in number of people on the train? Or would you rather have a smaller car and the trains come a lot more frequently? A question I get asked about a lot in New York City is about subway safety and how safe people feel on the trains. I mean, I ride the train all the time and I always feel pretty safe, but I would say that I feel even safer on the Paris Metro. The one difference is that there are constantly announcements telling people to watch out for pickpocketing. And I remember that when I came to France when I was 10 years old, someone pickpocketed my dad <laughs> and my dad he's, he's a tall guy so ever since then i've been like very just on alert hoping that i don't get pickpocketed so if you come to the paris metro make sure that you watch out for that but in general i say that you are safe and i'm gonna ask kara she's gonna nod do you feel safe on the paris metro kara says that it's safe as well so if you're here and you want to get from point a to point b and use public transportation i would highly recommend the metro and i personally believe it's safe just as as always, be responsible, be aware of your surroundings. I hope that you have enjoyed this compare and contrast of the Paris Metro to the New York City subway system. Just some final thoughts. In general, I prefer the New York subway system in terms of that it runs 24 hours a day and you also can buy those week passes or month passes at any day of the week. However, there are some bits of the Paris Metro that I prefer, um, such as the beautiful art that you see in the Paris subway system. The frequency of the trains is such a big deal for me because sometimes in New York, I'll have to wait 15 minutes, 20 minutes for a train. And here they pretty much come really, really frequently every three minutes, I think is pretty normal in Paris. I also like that it's clean, but that's the trade-off. The, the 24 hour subway system versus the metro that closes so you get like slightly cleaner cars. At any rate, let me know what you think. Have you visited New York? Did you like the subway system? Have you visited Paris? Did you like the metro? Which one did you like better? I hope that this helps you get around Paris a little bit more efficiently if you come and visit. And as always, make sure that you click subscribe so you never miss a travel tip or trick. Thank you so much for watching. Au revoir from Paris.